But Zach, we know some changes are on the way. Yeah, it's been a cold day today, back to back days. Staying in the 30s despite tons of sunshine. And again, on the eve of uh, what's gonna be a pretty interesting storm system as it comes in, it's not gonna be one that's gonna dump a ton of snow on us, but it's one that's gonna dump a little snow and a lot of wind, and it's gonna be followed by extreme cold. That's a problem for lots of vegetation that doesn't have the opportunity to get covered up. Vineyards, it's an issue for them as well. When they lose a vine, it can be as much as $40 per vine. If you've got 56,000 of them, that's a huge financial hit. And out here at New Kent Winery, that's something they're considering in the wake of this system as it will be very, very cold. Okay, let's get a check on what we've got outside at RIC right now. And currently our temperature is just 36 degrees. It's been a chilly day today. A little bit of a breeze, not much, but every now and then the wind will blow. It makes it feel colder, about 32, the wind chill. Other uh, temperatures across Virginia, again, continue to fall. It's gonna be another cold night tonight. Not as cold as the teens we had this morning, but uh, we're already dropping quickly down in the 20s and 30s here. The ad advisory map as of right now is just a winter storm watch. It's all areas along and east of Interstate 95, including Richmond. This will be converted to an advisory in some locations, a warning in others. I think for most of what you're seeing here, it's going to be a winter weather advisory. Maybe far eastern sections will be a winter storm warning. Out here right now, not much going on. Mostly clear skies up top. Back to our west, there are a few clouds starting to come in. And in the broader view, more cloud cover, you can see, will be coming in later on as we get into the overnight period. And certainly tomorrow, skies will be mostly cloudy ahead of that storm system. For more on the hour by hour forecast and how much snow to expect, let's go inside to meteorologist Mike Stone. Mike? Exactly. Well, overnight tonight, it will be cold, not quite as cold as last night, but we'll be in the low to mid 20s for most of the region. And tomorrow, a bit warmer than today. We'll be between about 35 and 40 to the far north and west. Low and mid 40s across the metro. Some upper 40s in southeastern Virginia. We'll start off with thickening clouds in the morning. That chance of precip comes in mid to late afternoon into the evening. And the metro may start off as some rain showers or some rain showers mixing with some snowflakes. Uh, precipitation should really start to pick up after about 7 o'clock. And with the temperatures falling, that should switch us over to all snow. Here we go hour by hour. Just some clouds across the area tonight into tomorrow morning. And then during the the afternoon we start seeing a few raindrops and snowflakes popping up by about two three o'clock towards the west those move into the metro as we go in towards the evening and you notice how we start seeing more blue that snow picking up in intensity and that lasts between midnight and about 6 a.m the back edge of the snow will start working out around daybreak or so we may still have some snow going about eight nine o'clock right along the coast but even that'll push on out and then clouds will break for some sunshine so we're going to see a nice afternoon after having snow in the morning snowfall amounts in most of the viewing area will be a coating to an inch. We'll get some pockets of two to three inch amounts near the I-95 corridor and over by the mountains near I-81. But in eastern Virginia, as we mentioned, this is where we should see more of the snow, at least three inches of accumulation. There may be some pockets, five, six inches of accumulation. And as the storm moves off towards the east, we're going to be on the western edge of this. We may get some parts of the eastern shore and right along the coastline here of the northern Neck Mill Peninsula. Could be a few spots there to get over six inches of accumulation. The winds will pick up as well. Some gusts over 30 across central Virginia and over 40 near the coast on Saturday. But take a look at our temperature progression. After 31 on Saturday, 35 on Sunday, we go up through the 50s up to around 60 degrees by Thursday. So the snow will hang around for a few days at least and it'll make Sunday morning really cold. But after that, the chill will fade and we'll start to warm up. The next system we watch later in the week on Thursday, that'll be rain.